Hello YouTube, it is me, Raina, and I'm back. So, I'm going to talk about The Last of Us. Yes, the new HBO show that just came out uh, this Sunday. So, I'm going to give you my thoughts and feelings on this episode. This will be filled with spoilers. Now, as for me, I have watched the game. I'm a big fan of the franchise of Part 1 and Part 2 and the DLC. I will not be spoiling anything past these episodes only what's in these particular episodes and where they left off on on the game. So you don't have to worry about future spoilers. I'm just going to talk about these episode by episode. So my feelings on this premiere, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. It was amazing. Uh, from the casting, from everything, I mean, you know, it was announced, you know, when they announced the cast of this, I was just so happy. And there have always been talks about making The Last of Us into a movie, you know, with certain people and all this other stuff. But I'm so happy as a TV show because this hour and 20 minutes did a great job of laying the foundation of the themes and the metaphors and everything for the show moving forward into where certain character moments in the future of this series will make perfect sense. Um, but anyway, back to the first episode. I love the cold open of opening up in the 60s. I did not expect this at all. This is not in the game. And I thought, once again, it set the expectations of, like, the um, the infected and the cordyceps virus and setting this up to get us up to the, um, quote-unquote, present day in 2003 before you know everything goes to hell basically and once again I loved love that we are in Sarah's POV just like in the game um we're playing as Sarah you know going through the house being scared but in this one we go through the whole entire day of her going to school you know getting the present for Joel and ever so slightly we're getting kind of an increase of like something is going on you know the cars in the background the airplanes you know one of her classmates is twitching what's going on with that old lady I love that sense of build-up and dread throughout the first part of this episode and then we get into where the game starts where you know she gives the present to Joel and everything from there was perfect of once again the POV in the car the way that was directed was so great I love that um, and how they did all that and like the destruction of, you know, Austin and everything and, you know, how they change certain things to make sense for the show because a lot of the changes here make so much sense because, you know, there's a lot of gameplay, obviously, you know, you're going through certain things like a, you know, tutorial, certain, uh, things and the way they make it makes sense for a TV show is so perfect. I, I, I can tell that so much thought was put into that throughout the whole entire episode. Um, and of course, the moment where Sarah dies, of course, I got emotional. And trust me, like I said before, I've watched playthroughs of this game. I played this game myself. I've been watching this game for, you know, ever since it came out 10 years ago. I know all the lines and that moment still hits every single time. And seeing it in live action, it was, it was worse. I, I could barely watch it. You know, it was, yeah, you know, I got choked up. And Pedro Pascal, what more can we say about this man? I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed him since Game of Thrones. He was amazing in that. He's just had a real rise in his career, and this one is no different. He is fantastic as Joel. I mean, you see the pain, especially in the time jump of, you know, him being hardened and, you know, him um, being really, um, well, yeah, up front and, you know, really violent. Like, it makes so much sense. And then once we get into the post-apocalyptic side of this story, you know, we meet Tess. I love the actress playing Tess. It's a different Tess than I thought it would be, but it fits the character perfectly and kind of see where she's at. And I'm loving that we're seeing different parts in these characters' lives that we did not see because in the video game at this point, we are playing as Joel. But it was great to see what Tess was doing in that time. And obviously, Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. How can I count my stars? Ellie is like one of my favorite characters of all time. She is pretty much up there. Joel is too, 
but Ellie is just, you know, yeah. And so seeing Bella Ramsey take this character, I, it's, it feels like I was playing the video game. She has like Ashley's, like how, how Ashley played the character, like her tone and how she says certain words. It just, it's not an imitation because Bella Ramsey is doing her work. And once again, I loved her in Game of Thrones and who she played in there. And, you know, she commands a room and I believe every single word that's coming out of her mouth. And also I love that we got to see her perspective and how it lead up before she met Joel and her and Marlene, the lady who's playing Marlene, played her in the game also. And she was great. And I love seeing her stuff. And I love seeing all these scenes that we did not get to see because we're playing as Joel as one character. And it really fills out the story more and get these different perspectives on what these characters are doing. Um, and I think they did a great job of laying the groundwork of the post-apocalyptic landscape of, you know, this world and where everyone is at without explaining anything. There's no exposition. You're just seeing it, you know, show, don't tell. And so I really, really like that. Um, and also a new thing here is when they're burning the bodies, unless I missed dialogue in the first or second game, that's something new in this world. And I thought that was a great storytelling device of, you know, the child and how they did that and how upsetting that is. And so I think that was a, it's a really great addition to the last of us world. Um, and you know, the clickers, we didn't see a lot of clickers this episode, We've seen the runners, that's like the first phase of the infected are the runners and, you know, and all that. I think the makeup is amazing. Um, we saw the one on the wall that was, you know, covered in the, you know, fungus and everything. I think everything looks amazing. The production looks amazing. They did a great job of portraying the post-apocalyptic world. Um, you know, it just, everything about it is great. The writing is great. The new dialogue, the different story beats and how they switched around certain scenes, how they cut out certain scenes was it once again, cause you're doing gameplay. There's a lot, um, in that, that goes along with the plot and with the TV show, it would not work. So, um, once again, like I said, um, they did a very great job of being like, you can tell that Neil Druckmann, who is the original director of the game was in there with the writers and producers or whatever and say, take this out, put this in. How about this? And when that, like you can tell a lot of care and a lot of love was put into this script. And I'm going to be bold here and say this was done throughout the whole entire season because we've seen the trailer. And also we see this trailer for the next few episodes and it just looks amazing. Um, I did not expect to get overly emotional over this because something, like I said, I've played the game. I've, um, you know, watched playthroughs of this of people's reactions and everything, but seeing it in live action and seeing it in this new medium, it really brings, I won't say it brings it to life, but it really, it, it, it was a really kind of an out of body experience, especially in the, um, high emotional part. And, I actually really liked where they left off. I think it was a great way to leave off of this first episode to really introduce all the characters, introduce this world and to go off and where we're going to go next. So what are your thoughts on the first episode of The Last of Us? Leave your comments below and bye YouTube.